All right, continuing our previous discussion on supervised learning, let's look at an example data set and understand what are attributes, what are what is the class, and what are we trying to predict, and some other terminology for machine learning. So here we have an example data set uh, for flowers where we are looking at different attributes, sepal length, sepal width, petal length, and petal width. So these are the different attributes. And the class is what we're trying to predict, uh, which is based on all these attribute values, what type of flower it is, whether it is the iris centosa, iris versicolor, or I iris virginica. The columns, um, the, the different columns, and usually uh, these data sets are arranged in the form of a, um, in a tabular format like we show in the in, in the slide. And the columns are different variables. Um, they are either the input features or the class that you want to predict. Usually the class that you want to predict is on the rightmost column. Uh, here what we want to predict is the type of the flower, right? So that's on the rightmost column. And what you are using to predict that are all the input features, the sepal length, width, petal length, and petal width. And you call the uh, class variable as either target variable, output variable, or a label for this example. So that's what uh, we mean by label examples. If you have a bunch of these values for sepal length, sepal width, petal length, and petal width, and you don't know which type of flower it is, you only have these values, then that would be an unlabeled um, example. And But you have these values and also have the corresponding label for which type of flower it is, then that is a labeled example. And each row corresponds to one data example. And um, because we all have all these values along with the label, their corresponding label, we can use this to train an algorithm, right? So we have all these examples and we feed that to the algorithm or the model to help it learn which of these attribute values correspond to which of these flowers. So each row in the table is called a training example. The whole data set is called, it's called a data set and it we'll see that we'll split it into training, validation or test depending on where we use it. Training is used to train the model, test is used when we want to use the data set to evaluate the model's performance or it could be even data for which we don't have labels and we want to predict the labels using our trained model. And validation is generally used to look at the data and, and make the model correct its error. So we'll see more of these different splits again, um, just introducing that here. The problem of predicting the label is called classification.